Welcome to this MECO Graphics training session. Today I'm going to show you how to create a chart using MECO Graphics for the Mac. The first step is to insert the chart into your PowerPoint slide and add your data. To do this, I'm going to select New from the MECO Graphics ribbon in PowerPoint, and then I'm going to choose my chart type. I'm going to insert a cascade chart. You'll notice that when I insert the chart into my slide, it automatically opens Excel so that you can add your data to the chart. So you can type in your data into the Excel workbook, or you can paste it in from another workbook. I'm going to paste it in. And you can see the data in my chart. Step two for creating a chart is to determine how you want to display your data as both bars and series. So I'll choose Edit the Chart from the ribbon. And then I'll select Series and Bars. You can see here are the three series in my chart. In this case, I want my last series, year-over-year -year sales growth, not to be shown on the chart, but to be a data row. So I'm going to select Data, and I can also format that data row right here as a percentage. Now for a cascade chart, I have to tell Meco Graphics which of the bars are going to be total bars. In this case, I want e-commerce total, which was a subtotal in my chart, and the final bar to be a, a total bar in the chart. Now we'll move on to step three and format this chart. So now we can edit the labels, the values, and the axes on this chart. So the first thing I want to do, which is a common thing for a change cascade, is to add an axis break. So to do that using Meco Graphics, I click on the axis, in this case the y-axis, and I choose insert axis break. And you can see it's a pretty small break, so I want to click on the axis break and then click on the dotted lines, and I can resize that axis break. That allows me to place more emphasis in the chart on the bars that represent change versus the total bar. Now if I click on the y-axis, right-click and choose Format Axis, I can hide the y-axis, I can switch to the x by clicking on the x tab and do the same. That's just a style preference. So let's move on and format the values on this chart. Click on chart in the values tab. The first thing I want to do is I want to use this data scale feature my values on this chart are currently shown in millions, and I want to convert them to billions, so that would be a data scale of three. You can see it simplified the chart values without altering the underlying data. And I want to format the bar totals and the segment values together mm -hmm. to have one decimal place. We'll choose a currency of dollars, and we'll choose units of billions. So now let's move on and show the labels on this chart. You can see right now there are no labels, they're all hidden. So if I say show all, and I choose series name and value, you can see all the labels that are available on this chart. Now the one label that I really want to highlight is this Whole Foods series and its segment value. But the rest of the labels are, are quite repetitive because my other series is base business. So I'm going to choose each one of these base business labels. I'm holding down the shift key and multi-selecting all of them. If I right click, I can say hide. And I'm left with just the Whole Foods label. 
Now while I'm here, I want to format all my labels on the chart. So I'm clicking in the white space of the chart, right clicking and choosing select all labels. Then if I right click on a single label, I can format all of the chart labels at the same time. In this case, I'm going to make them all 10 point font. And you can see now that my Whole Foods label is a little bit bigger, so I'm going to just drag it above the chart. And you see it's annotated above that bar. Well, let's move on to the last step and add enhancements to our chart. In this case, I want to add a bar comparison line to show the change between the two time periods of the chart. So in this case, it's the change between Q3 2016 net sales and Q3 2017 net sales. So I'm in Edit Chart, and under Chart, I can pull down the menu and add a bar comparison line. If I right click and choose format bar comparison line, I can see all the options. So you can change the position of the line. This one happens to be between the first and last bar, which is what I want. You can choose to show the value and the percentage, which is what I want to do. And I also want to format the numbers on this chart. So I'll make that dollar sign billions. So now you can see the message of this chart, which is sales were up $11 billion or 34% versus the previous year quarter. And you can see from the data row that Amazon Web Services was up 55% versus the previous year. Thank you for watching this Mechographics training video.